Hey guys, in this video we're going to make it so that um, when you click on something you teleport to what you're looking at. Uh, we're going to use uh, physics raycast and normals and uh, the camera vector, I guess. So all we need is one script here and I'm not going to get fancy with folders, I'm just going to make it. We're going to call it look teleport and open that up. Okay, so we're going to need to keep track of a raycast hit. This is raycast hit. A raycast hit is the, all the information involved when you draw a line to a, a draw a point to connect to another point and you want information about the stuff in between. Um, later we're going to use an audio clip to play a sound when we teleport. And okay, so just quickly, we're going to actually just hide the cursor. This won't work very well in the editor, but it'll be better than nothing. So what we're going to need is a function that's going to give us a game object called get looked at object. So whenever I call this, it's going to give me whatever I'm looking at from the center of the screen. So I've gone over this before, so I will be quick, but a raycast is like this. If we're, if we're this circle on the bottom left and we're looking in this direction, it's going to draw a line. It's going to draw a line starting here, the origin, and it's going to go for a certain distance in a direction. And it'll maybe hit this one, or you can tell it to keep going and hit more and get these collision, this collision information. And in this case, we want to teleport here. So our origin is a position, so it's a vector 3, transform position, just where we are. The other one, the direction, is going to be from the camera, the main camera. It's transform forward. That's a unit vector in the direction we're looking. I'm going to make the range just really far, whatever. Um, okay, so if physics, I'll write this out, then explain it origin, direction, out, last raycast hit, and the range. Yeah, so that works because, and you can see, you know, when you press comma, these different arguments pop up, and you can, you can give more and less. There's actually 12 in this case, different ways you can use raycast, and I'm just using it this way this time. So this will return yes or no if there's a collision. So if it's true, then I want to actually return this collider's game object. Otherwise, I'm just going to return null. And so when we call this function out last raycast hit, so it's going to put some info into last raycast hit. And it's because it's up here, um, I'm holding on to that the whole time. So if I call this once, then I'm going to keep this forever, which is what we're going to need to do. Um, I'm also going to need to then have a, a teleport function, teleport to look at. So teleport towards what we're looking at. Now one catch here, we can't actually teleport right into this point. We're going to be half inside a wall. So it's got to be this point plus the normal of the surface we're looking at. So we'd be here instead. So that's all we're going to do. Transform our position. We're going to set it to the last hit info. And there's a lot of information there, but dot point is the 3D position of that collision. But we're also going to do last hit of the normal, which is the normal of the surface. And just times two, because one is kind of not far enough. It's just based on the size of the player, uh, player object. And here we're just going to say, if we have an audio clip, then we're going to play it. We're going to play audio clip, and the position is going to be ourself. And finally, uh, an update, we're going to check if we're going to left click. That's how I'm going to tell that we want to teleport. So left click is zero. One is right click if get looked at object. So if we get the looked at object, 
and it's a thing, it's not null. So we are looking at something and we just clicked, then teleport to look at. And this is going to use last raycast hit, right? But it's going to be good because we only called this once and we just called it. So I'm going to save this, go into Unity, you got to click your player. So you have to attach uh, look teleport to the player. An audio clip is empty, I've got a, a sound right here. Just click and drag, put that in, and now I press play. The mouse is, oh, oh there you go. The mouse might go out, yeah, the, you can see the mouse gets out, but that's only because we're in the editor. But now if I click, I'm going to, hmm, yeah, but it would be a little more obvious. I'm going to make a dot in the middle of the screen. This is Unity 5. Um, image 2D, and then double-click canvas because it's rather, it's pretty huge actually. And I'm going to take this image, going to make it very small, and I'm going to hold Shift to lock it to that aspect ratio gonna put it right in the middle. You would, you know, want to do a crosshair or something nice, but I'm really winging it here. Alright, I got a little dot in the center. Now you can actually see where I'm teleporting to. Cool! Got your little sound. It's a big, big party.